this is the situation. The last video there, I made fun of Mamba a little bit. He's not a coder. He's not a programmer or a chat GPT type logic type mind there. So I'm gonna help him <clears throat> create a robot. Now I've already touched around with it and he said that he wants to trade breakouts on the NASDAQ on the five minute chart only during the New York session. And all we're gonna do is a four R setup, 25 point stop loss, 100 point take profit, and we're gonna do a couple trades per day. That's the whole thing. We don't need to know if this is profitable. It's gonna be a sample uh, based trading strategy and I'm pretty sure I can make it through chat GPT. So if we're looking at um, chat GPT here, I need to understand how it's gonna work first. Right, so write me a sample of MQL code. We need code. We need to be specific in what we're coding. So it came up with a moving average indicator, which uh, is going to just give us some sort of indicator. Now that's not what we want. It's just going to print an indicator on the chart. Um, and what we want to do is make code that's going to be able to trade for us. So we're going to have to slowly make this more and more specific. So this is the way I'm breaking it down. Is I'm gonna write a sample of code that indicates when a breakout of the previous candle body, right? So we're trying to get something similar. So the previous candle body is going to not be what we want. It's not gonna be a breakout. This basically is gonna be coding that it's gonna look for the previous candle high and low. And then whenever there is a break of that level, it's gonna ping it, right? So that's good. We got our horizontal levels, right? And just so you guys know, this is on initiation of the bot and this is on the uh, every every frame of the bot, it's gonna rerun this, okay? <clears throat> now, I am a coder, so I do understand what this all is, and we're gonna be able to drag and drop, this is gonna be the ultimate goal, drag and drop different code samples, because we're not gonna be able to code specifically an entire uh, piece of code. We're gonna be able to make functions and then, uh, and then match all those functions together to then create the final code product. So let's look identifies a break of structure, right? So a break of structure, where where's the previous resistance? Okay, so it's still not exactly what we wanted. It's gonna set a previous resistance, it's the same sort of thing. The previous closes, right? That's not resistance for us. Uh, and then every time there's, it's gonna reset every single time. That's not exactly what we want. <laughs> so what we're gonna look for is, okay, pivot points, because pivot points might be what we wanna define as a breakout. So we need to figure out first what is a breakout, right? We need to we need to figure out, okay, where are the levels that we wanna break out? That's our first indication because these things, the things that we were searching before, no, not good, not good, right? So write pivot points. We wanna see uh, where the pivot points are and check for the breakouts of those levels. So this is gonna be a little bit further, right? We can say the support level is the pivot point. Now, uh, again, um, it's not exactly what we want. Maybe let's refine this because that's a little bit chunk chunky for us to understand all in one go. We wanna just find the swing highs and lows because the pivot points, again, the pivot points they were using, just singular candles. We want to basically look for something that's going to look like, if we look at a chart here, we wanna basically look at something that's gonna be, we wanna define, okay, this is a pivot point, right? We want a pivot point. Previously, what we're looking at in all this code is like, okay, they're using previous candles, and that's that's their that's their 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 pivot point, right? This is like, okay, that's the pivot point and the breakout of that. No, we don't want that. We want swing highs, and we need to figure out what the swing highs and the swing lows are. So let's go back to this. So we want to find the swing highs and the swing lows, okay? And this is much more what we want. So loop back period, okay? How far are we gonna look back? And what is the minimum swing size? So minimum swing size is going to mean something like um, it, the swing, this level needs to be a certain distance, right? And then the loop back is how far back we're gonna go. Okay, this is, this is looking good now. So we need to create a loop that's going to check every candle in the previous uh, past, like in the past, every time there's a new tick, okay? This is making a lot more sense here. So if we're looking for a swing high, if we're looking for a swing low, right? And then we're gonna look for that loop back period, and then we're gonna check to see if that's a pivot, okay? You guys don't need to understand this, but if it's a pivot, we're gonna say, okay, it's a pivot, and if it's the minimum swing size, it's a pivot, perfect, great, good. We're gonna define that as a pivot now, okay? So this is where we would then draw those levels, okay? We would then draw a level at that point. Okay, so now that we've got a little bit of code sample, seeing of how chat GPT works, 
uh, I think I can throw this into the computer and then I'm gonna be able to draw levels at that, um, that swing high and the swing low, the pivot points. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna check to see when the candles actually break that level. And of course, guys, I just wanna throw a quick plug here for Maven, uh, Maven Trading, you can trade, it's a prop firm, uh, all the best rules, huge payout. Um, we have a new one step program that literally max drawdown 6%, profit target is uh, 9%. Obviously the prices are a little bit higher than the two step program because this is a much higher pass rate, uh, but that's that and we are doing a February promotion here. That's only in the last two weeks, but we'll have a new one coming out afterwards. Uh, so check it out. There's links in the description, guys, and you can get yourself funded super easy. Maven has the highest pass rate of any firm out there. So um, after going through everything, I'm going to show you the final bit of code I used for the main source of the code, okay? The main function of the code. So this is the final script. Uh, write a MQL script that finds the swing high and swing low of, uh, we're looking for the lowest and the highest swing high in the past 20 candles, right? So this way we're gonna actually create a range uh, and then those are gonna be the levels that we're gonna be using to break out from. In previous iterations that it was showing you, it was showing uh, a lot of errors because it wasn't finding the actual range highs. It was basically just drawing immediate candles in the past and that wasn't good enough. So we've got uh, our bars back, loop back period, all this shit uh, that we had before, right? It was added in to that. So now we have, okay, so if it's a swing high, if we're looking for the swing high, we're gonna find, you know, our loop back period, we're gonna find the highs and the lows, and then it's just gonna basically, all that's saying right there is it's basically saying that it, every, every time it finds a new higher high, it's gonna replace the old higher high as the level that it saves in data, right? Does the same thing for the lows, uh, and then, what we're gonna do is we're gonna check to see when it closes past uh, that um, uh, that level. Um, and then we're also going to be setting these reset swings. So if we look at the code, I believe I have code here, we can see, okay, that's the same thing. The reset swings, I had to reset the those as well because these things were not added into the chat GPT. So this is where you need to know what you're doing. Uh, and then we've got our levels being drawn on lines there, but it's basically all the exact same thing that you just saw in that chat GPT. The only addition is the place sell and the place buy, which I've put in there. And then uh, we've calculated our lot sizes, which is related to that too. Uh, and this is just checking for certain events, uh, which is not being run right now, actually on the, on the chart. So this is where I got that code for um, creating to so write an example of a buy order. Now, mind you, I had to know what the code was so that I can modify this for a sell order, or you could just write the same thing, give me a sell order. Uh, and that's basically everything that it is. So let's just give this a go, compile that bad boy and see what happens, right? So let's start that code. And look at that, you can see the highs and the lows of the recent range. Now let's give it a go. Oops, that's way too fast. Well, you can see it placing lots of orders, but then it resets after the breakouts. So you can see those close out uh, because I've added my own reset function. So there's the highs and the lows of the range right there, right? <clears throat> now they're not perfect and we could change them around, but that's not what we were looking for here, guys. What we're looking for here is some sort of code uh, that basically just determines some sort of range. So let's, let's watch this go a little faster maybe. And every time it's gonna reset because now that's now the most recent and you can see it's resetting the ranges of where we think a range is going to be. And we need to wait for a close beyond those. Now you can obviously modify this in any way you want and Mamba can also affect some things I can show you. There you go, we got a breakdown and there's the, the target, right? That's all it's gonna do. I don't care if it's gonna hit it. It's not a profitable strategy in case you guys were wondering. So let's stop this. And Mamba, if he wants to go and change the hours, I've added that in as well. So you can change what hours it actually runs at. Uh, that's all it has to do with. All right, the camera's a little crooked there, but who cares? Uh, basically, uh, my analysis on this is a chat GPT is a much faster way to search as a coder. I can search for code that I don't have to type up myself instead of using forums and stuff to find code. Uh, I can just type it in like this. It's very, very convenient for me but if you don't know what you're doing, it won't work at all. Uh, look at the difference between how I coded something and how Mamba attempted to try to code something. Now I'm gonna give him the code of this uh, and he can play around with it if he wants, uh, but just so he knows, this is not 
profitable unless he does something more to it. Guys, see you guys next time, Hunter FX. One last thing before I go, guys. Um, we started a new YouTube channel. It's called Maven Prop Trading. It's all about the behind the scenes of prop firms and how you're getting paid, how things work, all things like this. You know, we just released one first video of how one trader got paid what was his uh, dashboard looking like and things like this. So go ahead and give that a follow. I'll try to put a link in the description. Thanks for watching guys.